side. I got that with cheese. It is, it's a hot, wet, delicious mess. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we are here at Scotts Bluff National Monument in Nebraska. I know, it's kind of shocking that it's not flat behind me. There's, there's, there's something here. And that's why today what we have for you are 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Nebraska. And I really gotta tell you, the first thing that's gonna shock you when you're a tourist is when you realize Nebraska isn't just seven hours of flat driving through cornfields. No, there is undulation in the land here. There are buttes you can see. There are really beautiful parts of the state you can see, and it's not just flat, okay? So I wanna get that one out of the way first, because I know for me, I'm like, what? There, there, it's not just cornfields for miles? Oh no, there's a lot more to it. For example, here, when you check this out, you go to Chimney Rock, which is about a half hour drive from here, here in the west part of the state, it is not just flat corn lands. Now, the second thing that shocks people when they come here is all the driving you're gonna have to do when you do come to Nebraska. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a big state. It is a seven hour drive from one side to the other. And a lot of times there's not a lot of things in between to do. So make sure you're filling up on your gas when you can, but you're just gonna have to do a lot of driving. And people here, they'll say, oh, we measure the distance in hours it takes to drive. And it's true. So do plan ahead. Do have drinks in your car. Do have snacks in your car. If you're getting like the half a tank, maybe you should fill up the next gas station you see just in case. But what's cool is the driving here actually is really easy. The roads are actually really nice when you go on them, especially on the highways. Now, though I will say the roads are very nice. You can tell why they're nice because there's a lot of road construction when you're going through the state. So just be ready for an occasional merge into one lane from two or something like that, just to have a heads up for it. But overall, it really is an enjoyable state to drive through or drive around in until our third shock. And that is the unpredictable kind of pattern of the weather here in Nebraska. I mean, I'm here today and it's almost 90 degrees. Guess what? In tomorrow, there might be snow here. I mean, it's crazy how much the weather can change. So don't necessarily believe the weatherman or the weather person that's out there telling you what's on there or, or weather.com when it says, oh, the weather's gonna be 85 today. Make sure you're bringing layers, you're bringing some warm clothes because yeah, the weather here just kind of does whatever it wants. Now, the fourth thing that shocked us when we were driving through Nebraska and visiting some of the places is how short the on-ramps are onto the highway. I mean, we have all this room in this beautiful state, and I don't know why they didn't use a little bit more room to make the on-ramps to the highway a bit longer. So do be careful when you're getting on I-80 or anywhere else and you're coming on, make sure you're really paying attention because you might have to stop. You might have to definitely give the yield to the trucks that are going by when you're getting on the highway because it can be a bit scary. So do have a head up for that. But what's cool is when you're driving around the state, there are tons of sites that are just right off the highway. Whether it is, you know, going to a, a museum of the pioneers or, or a museum about, you know, the plains or something like that. There's a lot of stuff right on the side of the road that you can see. So it's really easy to get to. And even the ones that aren't necessarily right on the highway, like here at Scott Bluffs National Monument or, or Chimney Rock, it's still relatively close and it's easy to get to. And the thing is, there's other really great places to see when you are here. At the Omaha Zoo or the Henry Dorley, you know, zoo and aquarium. It is really fantastic. I know me as a kid, I remember watching Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. It's like they took all the episodes of all the times they had with Marlon Perkins, smushed it together and made a zoo and an aquarium to show you all those wonders. So definitely if you're going through Omaha, you got to check that out. And, and that's what's really nice is it's really easy access to get to a lot of things here in Nebraska if you're passing through or if you're doing your vacation here. So that's a nice thing. And speaking of nice things, the sixth thing is going to shock you to come here is how friendly and how nice and courteous the locals are when you are here in Nebraska, even when they give you the finger. No, 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 not the middle finger, but when you're driving, especially on the back roads, you get like the little wave, hey, what's up, hey? I mean, everywhere we've gone, when we haven't been on I-80, everyone's like, drive by like, hey, what's up, man? Like you can see like the little head nod and the finger wave. So you do have that, but the people in Nebraska we've been meeting have been so friendly, so helpful. They wanna, oh, what are you doing in Nebraska? What's going on? What are you gonna go see? I mean, like, oh yeah, we're gonna go see, you know, we're going here to Scott's Bluff, and then we're gonna go to Chimney, Chimney Rock, and we're going to, you know, going to see, you know, Lincoln and stuff like that. They're like, oh, that's really cool. Let me tell you what to see. This is what you need to eat. Don't forget to go to Runza. I mean, the people are like over the top friendly and they don't want anything from you, which is really, really cool. So don't be surprised if those corn huskers, uh, they, they, they kind of chat your ear off when you're here, but in a super friendly way. And that kind of leads me, when I think of the corn huskers, that leads me to the seventh shock. And that is how much 
they love the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers here. And yes, I know we think of, you know, college football and they, they, they cheer, go big red. But the thing is, it's not just college football. It's all the sports for Nebraska they go to cheer for. And the kind of a shot that goes with how much they love it is also how well the Nebraska fans travel. Okay, I live in Champaign. I live where the University of Illinois is. And I can tell whenever Nebraska is coming, whether it's volleyball or football or whatever, three or four days before the game, the bars, the hotels, the restaurants, they're full of Nebraska fans and they're friendly and they're courteous and they're fun and they spend their money. And I'm like, yes, can Nebraska come visit us every year? Cause they're awesome fans. So that really kindness that they have here, they take all throughout the country when they travel, which is a really awesome thing. Now, another thing that kind of shocked me when I was driving through here, cause when I was looking at the times to get places and how the GPS was saying, we're going to get places and not get places. I was a little confused is that, yeah, kind of like in the middle of the state or like a little bit on the west of the state, there's a time change. So most of Nebraska is in central time, but if you're on the west part, the west panhandle of Nebraska, most of that is actually going to be in mountain time. So if you're going through and you're trying to plan visits and going places, make sure you realize there can be that time change. So you're not like shocked that, oh, it's closed or, oh, were they here too early? just to kind of help you out. Now, the ninth thing I wanna talk about that shocks people when they come here to Nebraska is when they find out some of the great things that Nebraska has invented for our tummies. The Reuben sandwich, you know, corned beef, uh, sauerkraut, Russian dressing or Thousand Island dressing. Some people like to say Swiss cheese, rye bread, grill. Oh my God, it's so good. A lot of people don't realize that was actually invented here in Nebraska. Kool-Aid, hey, who doesn't like to drink the Kool-Aid? That's from here in Nebraska. Oh, or you're gonna see that they invented something that's a little bit not as tasty. Red beer, yeah, red beer, because you know, go big red, you gotta have red beer, I guess, and it's basically beer and tomato juice, or beer and V8. Yeah, you can have that, so it's like a healthy beer. I guess that's how the, the Cornhuskers get so big and strong. I, I don't know, but it, it is something there. And I think the 10th thing I wanna talk about in terms of things that shock people when they come here is actually still more the food stuff. And that is the unquenchable love affair that the Cornhuskers, the people of Nebraska have with two things the Dorothy Lynch dressing and Runza restaurant chain. Okay, so Runza, if you go to, you'll see Runza, it's a green sign with yellow letters. You have to stop. I mean, I feel like if a town doesn't have a Runza, is it really a true Nebraska town? I, I don't know. But you go in there and it's basically like, it's a sandwich, but it's like stuffed with uh, ground beef and onion and cabbage, or you can get it with a little cheese in there too. I mean, it was, they're fantastic things to get and, and their fries are really good too, but make sure you eat the sandwich first because it kind of soaks the bread, but oh my gosh, so good and I can understand why the locals love it but you got to stop at Runza and then the other thing is the Dorothy Lynch dressing and they, they, they'll use it on a sandwich they'll use it as you know with salad dressing of course they'll dip stuff in there but it's something they truly truly really enjoy when they're here and you don't really find it too many other places so don't be shocked if you have to try some of the local local real local things because I guarantee probably if you ask one of the Nebraska people what they need to do, they're like, oh, make sure you check out Runza's, then we got some other good stuff to eat. You know, like chili and cinnamon rolls. Yeah, they'll do that here too. So there's some good stuff to check out. But honestly, I've been surprised how much we've really enjoyed our drive through Nebraska and the places we've stopped, the things we've seen, because we drove through and then we're driving back through to visit more things. And whether it's the beautiful nature or the beautiful, wonderful people, it's been a fantastic time. So what are some things that shock you about visiting Nebraska? Let us know in the comments section below. And I'll say a special Special thanks to our patrons on Patreon and our members here on YouTube for helping make honest, fun travel videos like this possible. If you want to learn how you can help out, click the join button on YouTube or go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. And we wish you all the best. And if you want to learn a little about Nebraska food, we have a very de special dedicated episode for that. And I actually filmed it around here so you can see some more beautiful views. Anyway, I wish you all the best and bye for Nebraska.